Hi guys, welcome to Box Office India. This is Anita, and joining us today is uh, Tanuj Vidwani. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing pretty good actually. Yeah. What's happening? How are you spending the extended lockdown? <laughs> you know, this extended lockdown is in most probability going to be extended even further. So I have yeah. come to the fact that this is how life is going to be for the next few months. So um, just try to keep myself busy. Yeah, uh, try to be productive as productive as one can be at home, working, uh, <laughs> reading. Um, I made a short film on my phone recently. Um, spending yes. time with my dogs, uh, with my family, just stuff like that. You know. <laughs> That's nice. I, you're keeping yourself busy. That's important. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because see, I'm a very restless person, so it's important for me to keep myself as busy as possible. Uh, otherwise, I start getting anxious. So I, um, I just find things to do every day, working on myself, working out. Of course, I think physical exercises, uh, uh, physical activity is very important during this phase. You know, so just uh, doing whatever I can. But any new hobbies that you've taken up apart from what you're doing regularly? Uh, any, any new hobbies? hobbies uh, I think somewhere I've kind of rediscovered uh, cooking in a way. Like I, I make a point to cook at least one meal for myself every day. It could be something as simple as a salad. It could be something a little more elaborate. Um, uh, the other day I made chicken satay for myself, which was pretty decent, not bad. And I find cooking to be very self therapeutic. So it was really nice. Uh, apart from that, reading because uh, very impatient. I can't sit in one place, but I do enjoy reading. You know, there's something really nice about watching a story unfold. Like that, as opposed to watching it in a movie or on a show. So these are the two things that I've kind of taken up to in a big way, uh, especially in the past one month. Yeah. What are you reading currently? Uh, so I'm uh, reading this James Hadley Chase uh, novel. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it's it's really nice. It, uh, what's the novel? It's like yeah, you find them, I'll kill them. It's a thriller. Oh. Nice. Yeah. So very interesting, yeah. They're not they're not very long. They're about like two hundred pages long, <laughs> and it's a pretty quick, breezy read. So like maybe in three days you can get done with one one of his books. So yeah. Then if you have been busy uh, back to back doing shows, you know, now yeah. suddenly everything is at a uh, <laughs> top. How are you feeling? Do you uh, think it's uh, been good for you also because you've been back to back working? Yeah. You know. Um, So I I love working back to back because the first uh, the first two three years uh, of my career I really was not working back to back. Uh, there were long gaps between my projects because you know like it was not materializing the way I wanted it to. And then a couple of movies that I did did not fare very well. So it becomes very difficult for the right kind of opportunities to come by. Uh, right. so ever since uh, Inside Edge uh, season one happened, uh, which was in. Like 2017 up till right now, the last two months have been quite crazy. Has been very productive. So all of a sudden, and, and um, ironically, I I did have a holiday coming up now in the month of May. So um, I was scheduled to go to America actually on holiday next month. So um, ironically, that was supposed to be my holiday. Now it turns out that obviously America is not going to be happening. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to make the most of this time, right? I mean, sometimes. We're working, we're working, and we're acting, acting, acting. So you don't get time to kind of uh, breathe and look back and think about a lot of things. You know, it could be some of the decisions you're making in your career. It could be some of the acting choices. Um, so I feel I want to try and use this time to watch a lot of movies, watch a lot of other great, beautiful actors, and uh, hopefully come out of this a uh, better person as well as a better actor. We have to look at the positive, you know, because right now things seem quite. Uh, Scary and ominous. So just try to find the the silver lining. Okay. What yeah. are you binge watching currently? Oh, so I'm really hooked on to Westworld right now. Uh, it's 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 a show that uh, my God, I mean, I I think that's that that's the only thing I've been watching over the past one week. Uh, apart from that, I I so I even on a normal working day, I will manage to squeeze in at least one movie a day. It could be uh, English, Hindi. Regional, foreign. Uh, it could be a, an episode of a show that I'm that I'm currently watching, but there has to be some content uh, that I consume every day. So, uh, West before Westworld, I've been following Homeland because I'm a massive fan of Homeland, and now it's its last season. Uh, I'm watching a lot of old uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies. Uh, been catching up uh, up on some uh, older Hindi movies as well. 
so yeah, so it's it's kind of been like a mix, you know. And now with like Netflix and Amazon, like you have access to so many uh, different right. you know, kinds of shows and movies. Uh, I saw Tiger King recently. Uh, the the show that everyone's uh, raving about, yeah, that's, that's pretty. That that really is something. Yeah. Right. Right. Also, uh, Tanu, everybody's asking when is Inside Three coming? Uh, so Amazon has slated Inside H3 uh, towards the end of 2020. Uh, luckily, we are done with shooting for the show, so uh, that's one good thing. Because Lord alone knows when anyone's going to get back to any semblance of normalcy and get back onto a set, right? Because the way things are right now. So we've got that in the bag now. It's in post production. So hopefully, end of this year. Yeah. That's nice. So we'll take some fan questions before they. Sure, leave. sure. Before they leave. only we are talking, and then we can. Uh... Yeah, get back to life. So inside edge, uh, how are hi Tanuj bro? How are you, Max from NYC? Hi Max, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember this guy. I, I yeah, hope you're doing talk. well. I, I, I know, I know New York City is really, really hit hard and is uh, kind of the epicenter right now. But just hang in there. I think your the the, the peak. It's flattening, the curve is flattening, so just hang in there and things should get better. Yeah. Take care, lots of love. People uh, are excited to Inside H3. Inside H3 is coming end of the year. Uh, someone's asking what's the next series. Uh, so I've got a bunch of stuff lined up actually. I've got another Amazon Prime show called Command Pura, which should be out soon. Um, then we've got season 2 of Podem, uh, which released recently, so we've got season 2 of that coming up uh, later. Um, We've got Inside Edge. I've got a cameo on this Netflix show called Masaba Masaba, and uh, oh. there's this uh, project that I'm currently working on called Cartel. Something. It's very very different from all the stuff I've done so far. So that will also be out. Uh, I mean, I don't know when it's going to be out right now because we're still shooting for it, but hopefully not too far away. So that's on all bala. Yeah. So lots of web. Okay. Content. Uh, so when is your next movie coming out? What's your next project? A lot of people asking that. Oh, uh, so I've got. Um, uh, it's not a conscious effort, but I've not signed any movie as of now because um, ever since Inside Edge worked out for me, the kind of offers that I've been getting on the web are a lot better than the ones I've been getting for movies. You know, so I feel uh, you can't underestimate the power of the web currently. So why not be a part of content where there's more stuff for me to do, where the roles are media and the and, and just the basic uh, production are better. You know, so that's kind of what I'm focusing on. Uh, of course, I want to do more movies, and when the time is right and the and the opportunities present themselves, the right kind of opportunities, you'll see me back to the movies as well. Speaking of movies, I don't see anyone going to the movies for a really long time. Yeah. So yeah. that is very very sad. That's very sad. No, I think it's going to be a really long time, you know, because I feel somewhere that up until we have the antibodies testing and we have the vaccines. Yeah. Uh, distributed um, any gathering where you're in close proximity is just asking for trouble. So I I think the entire uh, way we consume entertainment is going to change more. So I think that's where web series will gain a lot more. You know because at least people feel right. safe for sitting at home. Yeah, yeah. Right. But uh, Tanuj, in general, what genre do you enjoy the most? Uh, in general, the genre I enjoy most would be uh, I really like thrillers. Uh, I um, I I like these dark dystopian future wala movies and um, sometimes uh, I like a good biopic. I mean, I I I find it really interesting and um, I like biopics a lot. I like sports dramas a lot. Uh, it really depends on what I'm in the mood for, you know. Uh, occasionally horror is fun, like but it's got to be like really really scary and uh, you got to watch it in the right atmosphere with the right people, you know. Like um, one thing I'm definitely going to miss about going to the movies is. Watching horror films in a in a household theater, right. you know, because everyone's kind of reacting and getting scared at the same time, and it's it's quite a it's quite an experience, you know. Right, right. Which is that one film that blew your mind? Uh, you're just talking generally, or like? Um, generally, whatever. Um, in uh, recent film, Hindi film recently that blew my mind. Um, I mean, it's not that recent, but one film that re- that I really really loved was Andhadhun. I thought it was fabulous, and I think Sri Ram. Which one? Uh, Andhadhun. Andhadhun. Okay. Yeah, I I really really like that. Uh, uh, English movies. Uh, man, I I just saw it recently, so I'm gonna say The Shining because I feel uh, no matter how many times I watch The Shining, that I, I I take away something new from it every single time. So okay. there's just something really 
eerie about that movie, but it's also perfection when it comes to filmmaking. You can see like the actors, the cinematography, the technical prowess of the movie. It's all on point. Yeah, so it's really nice. Right. So someone has said, "Sir, inside that completely fictional or inspired by some character." Uh, see, because you have to understand. See, uh, you got to understand that even inside it, we are making a hyper, a hyper reality version of real life events, right? So, of course, I mean, as a as a starting point, um, you have to kind of uh, root each character. You have to root the show itself in some semblance of reality. So, there'll be comparisons between, say, me and a Virat Kohli, or between Richa, or between oh. Siddharth, or between Angad and Dhoni, or between Kumar and Lalit Modi, and so on. But for those who have seen both seasons of the show, I think you'll know that I mean, like, our trajectory is our own, uh, and uh, that's about it. So, I, because we're not, we did not set out to make a biopic on Indian cricket or on any one particular person. So they have to have their own, their own suit, their own style. So I think they've got their own. They dance to their own beat. Yeah. Tanuj, uh, given a chance, which person's biopic would you like to do? Uh, given a chance, I um, I think. Uh, I would like to play Yuvraj Singh in a biopic because I think he's had a crazy life and he's seen the highest of highs, the lows of lows within a span of days. You know, so to maybe chronicle his his uh, journey um, from the 2011 World Cup where India won, uh, up until mm-hmm. his battle, successful battle mm-hmm. against uh, cancer. You know, so I think it would make for a really really inspirational story uh, for. So many people out there, and he's, uh, he's 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 got that killer spirit about him. So I, I definitely feel yeah, you guys are here. Could be very interesting. Right, but uh, if not an actor, what would you be? If not an actor, see, I um, I'm not very good with the whole uh, money angle and the commerce part of it. So I don't think I would make a very good businessman. I think uh, you'd probably find me um, either doing something in the same field, writing, directing, or maybe advertising. I think. One of these things could be my vocation. Something where I get to flex my creative muscles because I'm really not a money man. You know, I mean, I am a Sindhi, and I know a Sindhi that traditionally supposed to be very good at money and all. But um, I have I've always considered myself to be more of a creative person. So yeah. So any plans for future that you want to direct something or write something? You know, it's uh, it's funny that you asked me that question because the plan initially when I decided I wanted to do something with the movies was to write and direct, and that's why I became an assistant director. And then just by the by, acting happened. You know, it's kind of happened by accident, literally. So I definitely do feel I have it in me and would like to pursue direction in the future. Not anytime soon because right now I'm still in the infancy of my career. I'm just kind of setting up my my my, my body of work as we go along. So. I don't want to like uh, uh, bite off more than I can chew currently, you know. So I, I I feel it's important to master one craft and then focus on something else. So maybe in the future, yeah. In the meanwhile, I do make short films. In fact, I made a short film uh, sitting at home because I was really bored. So I took my iPhone and over a span of three days, I went and I shot a little uh, movie and put it on my Instagram. You check it out. Uh, nice. Yeah. I just felt a lot of us are currently dealing with the same issues sitting at home. You know, it's it's uncertainty and it's it's fear, it's doubt, it's um, right. you know just a, a bit of paranoia creeping in because no one has been in this situation. You know, I mean, like if you if you were to tell me two months back that hey, this is what the world would look like in the month of April, I'd be like, come on, you know, like that's that's not going to happen. But here we are. You know, so truth is somewhere stranger than fiction. It's yeah. Strange thing. Any any role that you found very challenging for you to do? Uh, you know, I, each role comes with its own set of challenges because it's not just the character you're playing; it's the world you're inhabiting, it's the cast and crew you're acting with. So that that different things that one may consider difficult. Uh, for me personally, um, Inside Edge was quite difficult because even though I love playing cricket in real life, I've never been a t- Train to be a cricketer. So whatever cricket I know is by playing in my building, in my colony, with my friends. It's very gully cricket. It's at a very uh, grassroots level. So I had to really kind of learn the the technicalities of the game so in order to appear like a proper cricketer, a proper professional cricketer. Uh, also because he's a he's a very explosive character. So I had to constantly wear my emotions on my sleeve, and sometimes you know um, it becomes very difficult as an actor. We're not machines. There's no on and off button. 
you know so it becomes very difficult sometimes to be really around people and get them to understand why your mood is all over the place so that was one um i'm currently working on this project called cartel where i'm playing the head of a, a mafia family and it's a very different kind of role he's very uh, calm composed reserved uh, many of the attributes that i don't have in real life you know so that really required me to kind of change my thought process change the way i breathe for example uh, i think that helps in a big way and just you know sometimes as an actor i feel oh if i'm not acting i'm not doing enough you know so that that that, that one that one fear is always there so it takes a good director to uh, just sit you down and be like hey you're doing more than enough because the camera captures even the subtle nuances that you put in so don't think sometimes if you are doing too much it may come across as overacting so i'm learning new things on each project so every project comes with its fair share of challenges yeah do you still have any ambition as an actor um so i feel when i when i started off uh, i was very raw because i'm not a trained actor right uh, like i've done a couple of courses but it's not like i'm really trained or done theater or i had a lot of experience before i faced the camera for the first time which so you can see in my first couple of movies i was pretty raw um no. it's something i've literally learned on the job it's like i learn something with every um co-star i work with with every director with every dp that i kind of uh, work with and i just feel subconsciously you start uh, remembering things you know okay uh, maybe my left profile is not as good as my right profile maybe when i'm doing this shot i should not do this certain things which you may not catch on the naked eye but the camera is different the camera catches a lot of different things that's why they say like acting on stage is very different uh, to acting uh, uh, in front of the camera right so um, i've learned a lot of things i think i've gained confidence and of course with a certain amount of success and when people start appreciating your work um you uh, that automatically gives you confidence but that should never be mistaken for oh my god now i know it all now no one needs to tell me anything you need to constantly be open to right. learning you need to you need, as an actor i think you need to be like a sponge right you need to imbibe qualities from other people and always listen to what people are saying you, you may agree with them you may not agree with them that's absolutely fine but if they're telling you and it's their opinion listen to them because even out of 10 things that they say if there are two things that resonate with you that will in turn help you becoming a better actor so yeah right but who has been your inspiration in terms uh, of acting uh who's been my there are a lot of people i look up to i mean if you're talking from our industry i mean definitely from the younger lot it would be uh, uh, ranbir ranbir vicky um uh, the, these these three in particular because i feel like despite being stars the actors first and they just disappear into their respective roles and that's really commendable you know like they're not just playing a version of themselves in each movie that they do i i i find the fact that ranveer singh can be a part of a padmavat and then come into a gali boy and then do a simba i mean that's fascinating you know like like you're literally like taking all the boxes and i mean that is the hope and intention that uh, i can also kind of broaden my body of work at some point in the future you know so yeah these are people i really look up to if you're talking internationally then i mean there's so many of them uh, from the not younger lot but like the middle age lot i mean definitely caprio uh, wakeem mm-hmm. phoenix would be there brad pitt would be there and if you're talking about the elders then it would probably be like uh, anthony hopkins who i'm currently watching on westworld and I'm, i i i just feel yeah. every word every dialogue that he utters sounds like poetry it is it is magnetic so yeah there's so many people to look up to Yeah. yeah. Comment saying you would be best fit for Virat Kohli's body. I know I actually get that a lot. You know, I mean, of course, because of Inside Edge and Vayu and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, if, if, if the right opportunity and the right script comes along, why not? You know. But I also feel because um, people, a lot of people identify with me as Vayu and already playing a cricketer. It might get difficult for me to play a cricketer once again. a completely different cricketer you know so i i don't know thoda clash ho sakta hai but uh, as i as i said if, if i were given the opportunity to play a cricketer it would definitely be yuvraj singh because of the reasons i mentioned right someone is asking who is your favorite director uh who's my favorite director wow there's so many of them if i had to zero in on one it would probably be anurag kashyap and uh, shri ram rao Like I, okay. like I, like I, like I skill to work with him. Yeah. 
What should we Natasha, expect Natasha, from India? Natasha, there you go. Natasha, come on. What should you say, Harini? Sorry, I've not been reading comments. Yeah. Hi, Seema. Hi, Babu. Yeah. <laughs> so, Abhi, Abhi is asking, what should we expect from Inside Edge Three? Uh, so, Inside Edge Three, I can assure you, uh, and I'm not just saying this, but it's it's really uh, it's uh, it's almost uh, like a true blue sequel to season two because it's like one big story, season two and season three. uh and it will pick up exactly where season 2 ends and this time we're not going to be uh, having uh, uh, limited overs t20 club level cricket we're going to be talking about international test cricket so there's going to be a com- complete change of landscape and the show is going to look very different uh got some fabulous new talent on board uh, i can't reveal much right now but yeah we have a few surprises for sure any girlfriend sir Uh, any any girlfriend right now? Uh, no, <laughs> no. I haven't asked. That was a comment. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm actually reading. Uh, भाई साहब नहीं छोड़ेगा तो उसकी बेटी को पता है. आप भाई साहब को तो देख लेंगे. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me write and direct and you direct. Who is AO? Uh, AO is Akshay Obroy. So he is a very dear friend and he's also a co-star. We're going to be starring together in Inside S3. So I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? I think I think that would be fun. I would love to do a buddy sooner comedy with Akshay. Akshay and me. I think that would be great. Yeah. Uh, secret of a perfect beard. I have the perfect beard. It's someone Ellie who's asking this. Oh uh, man! At this point, this is my quarantine. Look, yeah. So I don't really think I'm even close to having the perfect beard. Uh, in fact, I'm starting to feel like a homeless person. But well, it doesn't really matter right now because we're not shooting. So yeah. Right. What do you eat in a day? How do you maintain yourself? Are I love food. I'm a complete foodie. I eat a lot of food. So there, there is no, there is no rocket science or cheat behind it. All you can do is. Exercise, exercise, eat, eat, exercise. It's as simple as that. Because it it it's simple. It's simple science. At the end of the day, you need to burn more calories in a day than you are consuming, right? So what I do is, I've come to terms with the fact that I love food, that I can't diet like a lot of my fellow actors do and all. And I'm like, yeah, तुम लोग कैसे करते हो? The only thing that I try and do is I kind of don't have carbs after sunset <coughs> because that's not good. So you should have it in the first half of the day. I try and. Have my vegetable juice, my fruits, uh, you know, uh, 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 in- enough enough of raw vegetable salad now for my roughage. But I love non-veg. I love red meat. I eat everything. I I love. I have a massive sweet tooth, so it's really difficult for me to not go near those things. Especially because we're sitting at home, right? क्या करेंगे यार सुबह सुबह शाम तक अभी लाइक सम पॉइंट वाइल्ड इस सिटी के नेटफ्लिक्स यू वांट टू ईट आल्सो ना इट जस्ट बिकम्स लाइक दैट कंफर्ट फूड. But having said that, I make sure I. I I exercise a lot. I do a fair amount of cardio. Um, I um, run up and down the stairs. That's a new thing I've started. I whatever few things I have at home, I'm improvising and kind of doing like my little workout. See, uh, as an actor, it's very important to have a flexible body where you can go either way. So in case a role demands me to buff up, I can go in that direction. If it requires me to kind of lean down, I can go in that direction. So for example, yeah. why you? Uh, requires me to be more lean and more aesthetic as a as a frame as a physique. Now the next project that I'm doing, Cartel, requires me to be a little more buff. So you know, it's important that you maintain your health so that you can go either ways without having to take any of these these things, these magic pills and drugs that a lot of people take. Okay. Uh, someone has asked me to ask you about your relationship with Tanya Jacob. She's a very dear friend of mine, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any other shows with Jennifer Wingett? Oh, uh, very good. Uh, it's, it's really good fun working with Jen, and uh, I'm actually really looking forward to coming back for the next season with her. Because along with her and our director Akshay, I think the three of us touch would be got along really well, and there's a good uh, mutual understanding and respect, and we're able to bring out the best in each other. I feel you know, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into that world with her. Yeah. Okay, so one of your fans asked you to mimic someone. Because they are very good mimics. <laughs> so, no, I'm not a very good mimic, but um, okay, like I can do a bit of maybe Saif Ali Khan. 
Hey, so I'm really, uh, really excited to be with you on Box Office India magazine. You know, like I, I don't really get fursat from Bebo because she just wants me to sit with her 24/7 to subscribe. <laughs> but I think I'm going to make a, a stake a claim and be like, no, I want to talk to this girl now. You know, I even got my tattoo removed. You can see it's not there anymore. <laughs> I'm sick of her. <laughs> wow. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, I, I don't know what you're going to do with. You know, I I have to share something with you about the mimicry thing. So uh, there's a there's a uh, interesting about Inside Edge is when they are uh, putting together all the matches and stuff, right? Uh, in, in the edit room and all the footage. So they need someone to give the commentary just to get a feel of what the matches look like. Of course, they go to like proper professionals later and proper commentators and all. Mm-hmm. But they always use me for every season. So. Oh. So it's uh, yeah, so it's one of those useless talents I have. You know, so I'll, I'll go in there and then just yeah, yeah, we'll we'll jam and I'll be oh, it's a wonderful shot. It's gone into the middle of next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like stuff like that. That's so, nice. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm happy I learned something new about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. Um. So everyone is talking about inside edge and yeah, code. So glad. Uh, Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm not uh, responding individually to your comments. It's just because we're talking, and it gets a little difficult to respond to your comments and have a nice little chat here. And want to pull my cheeks? Are you trying to say I've become fat? Okay, <laughs> I think I'm going to go cardio from today. <laughs> Why is Seema angry? Seema is angry. I will make someone's day, but how will I make the day? The best way because say. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I know, right? Dubbing me, मुझे बुलाते हैं. Why are you dating Jennifer? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually very sick and tired of answering that question. You know, <laughs> it's it's funny when you get along with your co-star, then you have nice things to say about them. Uh, the immediate reaction of people and of fans is, ah, push to chal raha hai, chakkar chal raha hai. They're dating. They were spotted here. They were spotted there. You know, sometimes we feel like we are wild animals that some African safari or something. They were spotted. Abhi to bhai, spotted bhi nahi ho sakta ho sakte. Wo apne ghar mein hai, main apne ghar mein hu. So yeah, let's just. Uh, But uh, because it's been a, okay, so my quarantine actually started before the national quarantine started because I got back from shoot on the 15th of March, and I have not stepped out of the house since then. <laughs> so, Same. so it's been uh, today. Today's what the 17th? Yeah. So it's, it's been 30, 32 days. Yeah, 32 freaking days. So that's a pretty, pretty long time. So. Um, But you know, as I said, you just got to keep your sanity intact, and that's kind of what my short film has to deal with. Because I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and stuff, and freaking out myself. So I'm like, hey, how about I make something that that's kind of self therapeutic, and hopefully other people will also kind of connect with it. And luckily, they did. I mean, the response has been awesome, considering I shot it on on my on my mobile phone. Yeah. You should you should check it out. It's a short little thing, but uh, I'm just trying to make the most of it. Yeah, I feel as human beings. We're never happy, right? I mean, when we don't have time, then we are grumbling. Oh, we don't have time to spend with our family. We don't have time to spend with ourselves. Now we have all the time in the world again. We are grumbling. So just push it out, na? This is not going to be permanent. Everything is, I mean, subject to change. We don't know. Hopefully, things will get better. Uh, not too far away from today. So yeah, just going to. Why are you not? Blo- what? I don't know. I did not say. Sorry that is, is. Is there a dinosaur in the background on on top of your little? Uh, Mm, that's an elephant. An elephant. Okay. From here, I, I, it looked like a dinosaur. I'm like, wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an elephant. Because even I have a lot of these over here. So yeah, I was, my my eye was going to that. That's the jungle. Uh, the movie jungle release. Oh right, 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 right. This. Uh, uh, my friend Akshay was in jungle. If I'm not mistaken, with, along with with you. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Where so is my mom? My mom is in Poland. I have beautiful eyes. Thank you so much. I'm very sleep deprived. My sleep timings have gone for a massive toss. But thank you so much, yeah. Uh, Zermina. Yeah. Please answer. So, what's the first thing you want to do once the lockdown is done? The first thing I want to do is uh. <laughs> I just, I Apart from working. 
I just want to run out of the house and <laughs> stand on the streets of Bombay and take in all that gutter ka smell and all those other things. I want to hear the honking of the cars. I want to drive my car around. I want to go and have a nice meal. I want to meet all my friends. There's so much. I, I want to just go and park my car in the middle of the ceiling and just get out of my car and stand on the roof and yell, yeah! Yes. <laughs> all these things we have taken for granted all this while all our lives and all of a sudden it's become like crazy right i mean like you know with, with, with it's so difficult honestly to get essential nowadays like we have to count how many eggs we are eating in a day it's crazy you know, I know. I know. so but theek hai yaar i mean life's a journey and maybe this is another another part of it so that yeah right Well, on that note, thank you so much for having a conversation with us. Thank you, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, and um, I wish you well. And please stay safe. Um, hopefully, the next time we have an interview or something, an interaction, it will be face to face and not like that. Yeah, so hope so. I, so I, I don't, so. I don't want this to become the new normal. So yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Even I want. Thank you. Why am I so handsome? Someone's asking. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm handsome, but thank you very much. Thank you all of you. Thank you for loving Inside Edge. And uh, sorry, I'm not uh, replying individually to all of your comments. But uh, yeah, Seema, don't worry. There'll be more chats. We'll, we'll, we'll. Yes. Yeah, you can join me somewhere. Else. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Great man. Bye. Bye. Take Have care. Bye. Take care. Bye. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the conversation with uh, Tanuj. Thank you for joining us. And please uh, stay safe. Stay at home. And hope to see you all soon. for our next live session this soon so take care thank you